So today we are going to be talking about how long does it actually take to start a successful photography business? Like, how do you know when you made it? And I'm here with Jen Bruno Smith. So Jen, hey, guys. hey, how do you know? How do you know, um, you know, when it is and then how long does it usually take? Yeah, it's a great question. It's one that I get asked a lot. A lot of people are always wondering, when is it time to leave your day job? And um, the short answer is it's time to leave your day job when you're losing money working it. That's what I always tell students because, you know, if you're not booked out or if you're not solidly working and you quit your day job too soon, it can really put you in a financial predicament, right? So it's important that you're planning and that you're established, I feel like. Yeah. And I think there's also a much bigger cost, right? Like it's not just the cost right now, but like if somebody's going to have the potential of making multiple six figures in the future, like the, you also have to kind of weigh that against like your future earning potential. And I was actually talking to somebody uh, the other day, one of our um, members that actually went through our program and they, they may have jumped the, they might have jumped a little bit earlier, like earlier than you suggest, right? Like having enough savings and having yeah. enough clients booked out. But she was basically, you know, when she was able to like leave that job and start working full time in it and applying all her efforts, she got even more booked. So then like she actually did reach that. Right, right. Yeah. When I was doing my full time job, so the year I quit my full time job, well, the last year I was in my full time job, my photography revenue was 280 and my full time job paid me about 90. And when I left my full time job the following year, my studio revenue was 525. So I actually doubled my studio revenue by leaving the full time job. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are definitely benefits. Do you think you could have done that, like still being at that full time job, or could have gotten? No, because I needed the time. And the reason I was losing money working my day job was because I couldn't take shoots. And as soon as I left my day job, I was able to fill those days with more shoots. Um, if I was still in it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I'm going to ask because I know when I left the military, I had to replace about, I, and I live like super cheaply. So let's just say somebody has like $2,000 rent. They have some bills, maybe a small car payment, and they, they basically yeah. need to clear like $4,000 yeah. You know, after expenses and everything like take home, like right. what number do you think they actually have to get to? And like, how long would it take to get there? If they, if they were starting from scratch and you knew like, you know, what you knew yeah. right now. So I really, so I'm a big believer in data and metrics and, you know, planning ahead. And personally, I, I know what my sales average is to the dollar. I'm always pretty shocked when I ask someone that and they're like, I have no idea. Or if I ask someone, what's your year to date revenue? And they're like, I don't know. Oh, it's probably around or my sales average is probably around. If you're going to make a decision like that, you should know right away. My sales average is this. My year to date revenue is this. My cost of doing business is this. Like these are metrics that you should know offhand and you should be keeping track of that data. And if you're not, then I would be very cautious about leaving your day job because you don't actually know how much money you're bringing in then, you know? So, um, but also, you know, we have a family and kids and things like that. So I really like to have that stability and know exactly where I'm going. And it's hard to predict future trends if you don't know what you did in the past. So I can go back five years and know what my sales average was five years. I can go back and see my cancel rate because I keep track of that data. And it's pretty easy, right? So like for someone listening, they're like, oh, how do I get that? It's just, and I, and I ask people that all the time and they don't know, they'll give me a roundabout number. I'm like, no, it's, it's only one number. So right. it's basically your total earnings for the month. So if someone had $20,000 in sales and they had five shoots, their average would be 4,000, right? So I actually go by my sales average. So I keep track in an Excel document of like, the retainer fees and then the sales and then I average out the actual sale. But gotcha. then I also keep track of actual money in because some of those people are on payment plans. So I like to know my sales average, but then I also like to know my monthly revenue coming in as well. Gotcha. That makes sense. I should clarify that. Of course, that would be from each individual, whatever the total was for that one. Then yeah. of course divided. Yeah. Okay. So no kidding. Someone's like on the fence or maybe for a lot of people, they don't even need the income, let's just say to live, like it's their hobby and they want to yeah. get more. Yeah. If someone asks you and they say, Jen, like my goal to have like that is $150,000 a year. Like, 
what can I expect? And let's just say they have a good portfolio. Like what can they expect? Like what yeah. timeline should they give themselves? Yeah. So, you know, I say that the biggest thing, what the biggest predictor of success is how hungry you are to reach it. Right. So if you are someone that needs someone to be telling you what to do all the time, perhaps going into business for yourself isn't the best choice. But if you're someone that's a self-starter, if you're able to analyze and make your own decisions, if you're someone that can get out of bed really early and start working and start hustling and start grinding and not need anyone looking over your shoulder, then being in business for yourself is probably a good thing. And as far as a timeline, it really varies for everyone. If you're starting from the beginning without anything, I would say at least like 10 to 12 months to really get moving. And if you're someone that's in the middle of your business and you're, you know, kind of have a portfolio and you're somewhat established and have a following, then it should be a little shorter, like four to six months, because really what you need to do is start implementing, you know, strategies that are proven to work. And once you do that, then you should start seeing results pretty quickly. Yeah, I agree. Well, um, yeah, so I, I know, I know for a lot of people that is a huge thing and they're always just wondering, and you know, we're one of the most cutthroat groups where we hold people accountable and like yeah. we don't coddle people and we tell them the truth, right? right? Like we'll tell them, Hey, right. you need to go work on your portfolio and you need to go work on yeah. that. Um, and I think you know, that's something that actually probably speeds up the process, right? Like a little bit of tough love. And yeah. I, I hope this is an encouraging conversation for people because you have control over your own destiny. And the work you yeah. put in is the, that's the beauty of it, is the results you create for yourself. Yeah. I mean, instead of when you're working a day job, you're working and making money for a company, right? And working and making money for yourself is so much better. <laughs> and also the motivation is there, right? You don't work, you don't pay your bills, you don't eat. So I don't know what better motivation there is than that. And on the other side, you work harder, you make more money. It's cause and effect. It's black and white. It's if and then you do this, you get that. So it's very um, predictable, especially if your work is solid. If you have solid work, that's a foundation. Awesome. Thank you so much for the talk. Yeah. And I hope this inspired many. Sounds good. Thanks. See you later, guys. <laughs>